Hello students, welcome to St. Joseph's Academy's online class. I am your English teacher and in today's class, I am going to teach you Chapter 12, My Special Sister, Part 2 of your English Mulberry Book. Dear students, in part 1 of this chapter, we studied about a young girl, Jane, who has a sister that is deaf and how she deals with that fact. This young deaf child is affectionately described by her older sister in this story. In today's class, that is part 2 of this chapter, we will discuss few exercises of this chapter. So let us begin our exercises now. We will begin with the word meanings. First word, tumble. Tumble means jump and roll around. Second word, monkey bars. It means a frame of bar for climbing and swinging. Third word is hoof marks. It means foot marks of some animals. Fourth, lip read. Lip read means to understand what somebody is saying by watching the way their lips move. Fifth, shutters. Shutters means wooden or metal covers that can be closed over a window. Sixth word, horse. Horse means sounding rough. And last word, yells. Yells means shouts. Next is making connections in this. Quick answers. First exercise. Put a tick against the sentences that are true and a cross against those that are false. Now in this exercise, few sentences are given and you have to put a tick against the sentence that is true and a cross against the sentence that is false. Let us begin with First sentence, Jane's sister is older than Jane. Students, in the chapter, we studied that Jane has a sister. Jane is the older sister and she has a younger sister who cannot hear. So, this statement is wrong. Second sentence, her ears hurt because she cannot hear. Now, when Jane's friends ask her, that does it hurt to be deaf? Then she replied that no, her sister's ears don't hurt, but her feelings do when people don't understand her. So this statement is also wrong. Third, the other children in her school can hear. Yes, this statement is true. Fourth, she is afraid of storms. No. Jane's sister is not afraid of storms. It is Jane who is afraid of storms and her sister sleeps soundly during storms. So the answer is wrong. Fifth, she can shout loudly when she wants to. Jane's sister can shout loudly whenever she wants to shout. Yes, the answer is yes. Next exercise is reference to context. In this, an extract from the chapter is given and related to that extract, few questions are given to which you have to answer. Let us read the extract first. I am the one who listens for small sounds. She is the one who watches for hoof marks and quick movements in the grass. This extract means when narrator, that is Jane, and her sister go out to track a deer in the grassland behind their house, 
the narrator listens for the sounds and her sister observes movements jane is able to hear things but her sister is quick in watching things as she has a strong sense of sight than jane the first question related to this extract is where do the sisters like to go as i already told you that they go to the grassland behind their house to track a deer so the answer is the sisters like to go to the grassland behind the house second question what do they sometimes do together they sometimes what they do they track a deer the answer is sometimes they like to track deer third question why do you think jane's sister can see quick movements in the grass better than jane can why do you think so because jane is able to hear things but her sister cannot she is quick in watching things as she has a strong sense of sight then jane so the answer is jane's sister can see quick movements in the grass better than her because her sense of sight is stronger next extract is i understand my sister my sister understands what i say too especially if i speak slowly and move my hands a lot but not always students this extract means the sisters understand each other as they have grown up together and know each other inside out the narrator that is jane she says that her little deaf sister not only watches her lips and hands but also understands what she wants to convey but not always the first question related to the extract is the teacher and the children at school do not understand every word jane's sister says why is it so so when jane's sister started going to school the teacher and the children have difficulty to understand what her sister says why is it so it is so because her speech lacks clarity what she says her speech lacks clarity and her words also sound different so the answer is the teacher and the children at school do not understand every word jane's sister says because her words sound different second question how does jane help her sister understand what she says now according to the extract we can say that she lip read and understands jane's hand movements so the answer is jane helps her sister understand what she says by speaking slowly and moving hands a lot so when jane wants her wants to convey a message or she when she wants her sister to understand what she is saying she speaks slowly so that her sister can lip read and also she moves her hands a lot to convey the message last question what is the funny confusion that happened when jane's sister did not understand what jane wanted now the narrator she says that her sister understand not only uh, watches her lips and hands but also understands what she wants to convey she claims that her sister does not always understands her as once she mixed up bananas and pajamas so the answer is the funny confusion happened when jane asked for her pajamas but her sister brought a bunch of bananas from the kitchen next exercise is read reflect and write in this exercise also we have few questions to which we have to answer 
Let us begin with question number four. Do you think Jane's sister enjoys playing? How do you know? How can you say that Jane's sister enjoys playing? If you agree with the statement, you have to give a reason. Yes, I think Jane's sister enjoys playing. How can I say this? Because in the chapter we read that she likes to leap, to tumble, to roll, and to climb to the top of the monkey bars. And she also goes out to the grassy lot behind their house to track a deer. So the answer is yes. Jane's sister enjoys playing. as she is fond of the monkey bars and she also goes out to track deer question 5 what are a few things that jane's sister cannot do now in the chapter we studied that jane laments that her sister will never hear the sound of the telephone ringing or someone knocking at the door However she says that her sister will never know the fear of sudden rolling thunder which is when the narrator is afraid but the sister sleeps soundly during storms it is the narrator who feels scared and is afraid while her sister sleeps soundly so the answer is Jane's sister cannot hear the ringing of the telephone knocking at the door and the thundering of the storms question number 6 jane says that her sister is special what do you think she means by that now at the end of the chapter the narrator says that her little sister can see her wave when she tries to attract her attention she can feel if the narrator stamps her feet and can also feel her touch when the narrator puts her hand on her arm but she is unable to hear if the narrator calls her name from behind it is because she has a sister who is deaf and these abilities make her sister special so the answer is jane's sister understands her touch she can feel stamping and see a wave across the room though she cannot hear like others these abilities make her special so students after explaining the exercises it's time for some homework now your homework is to read the chapter again and learn and write all the word meanings and question answers in your class notebook do rest of the exercises in book only so whatever is taught today in this part of the chapter you have to learn and write that in your class notebook means in your mulberry copy you have to write down all the word meanings and question answer in your copy and complete the rest of the exercises in book itself dear students with this our today's class is over i hope you all might have enjoyed the class and understood the exercises very well we will meet again soon in the next part of this chapter that is part 3 in which we will be discussing the remaining exercises of this chapter till then complete all your homework and stay safe thank you and have a nice day